This video comprises the difference between the cytotoxic T lymphocyte, the CTL killing mechanism and the natural killer cell killing mechanism that become very easy to understand and very simple to learn it out with some figures and diagrams. So let's make it interesting to learn on. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Biology with Agam Singh. So before getting to the difference between the CTL and NK cell killing mechanism, I just want to introduce you the same thing about both of them that they follow the same pattern or same path of uh, killing the cell means that they are killing the cell through apoptosis means that the NK cell and the CTL cell both kill the cell the target cell with the help of apoptosis apoptosis is done by them with two type of methods the perforin and granzyme pathway and the fast ligand pathway so this will i will summarize later in the video so firstly make it clear that what is the difference between both of them killing mechanisms so let's get started so firstly we are going to know about the cytotoxin t lymphocyte killing mechanism that's also known as ctl killing mechanism that is governed by cytotoxic T cell or TC cell. Okay, the working mechanism of TC governs by uh, it require as it is a soldier. It requires some information from other side uh, to activate itself and then kill. Means that this is a cell in an inactive form. The TC cell is in an inactive form. The CTL is an inactive form. But when it require when he had information related that uh, the some pathogen or the, or the target cell you have to kill then it become activate and then kill means that it requires some activation the CTL cell requires some activation to kill the target cell okay this is the first soldier or first warrior which requires activation means that it requires some information to activate itself the information is uh, get by the MHC. This is the target cell. MHC goes inside this uh, target cell and uh, take an antigen on a uh, bind an antigen and show it on the target cell. As I showed here, this is the uh, antigen of the target cell. So these CTL cells means that TC cell cytotoxic T lymphocyte will come near this MHC and bind with it with some receptors which it have uh, the receptor are TCR uh, TCR cyto TCR for T cell receptor it is T cell receptor okay uh, one is TCL sorry TCR and other is and other is CD8 co-receptor it is a co-type co-receptor here it will bind with MHC here CD8 because it is a cytotoxic T cell that's why it contains CD8 in the case of um, TC uh, TH cell we had talked about the CD4 receptor here so this will recognize it ctl cell will recognize it with the help of cd8 and tcr receptors will bind with mhc and recognize that antigen after recognizing this antigen and uh, and uh, knowing that this is the foreign as mhc shows that it is the foreign particle you just have to kill it so after binding this the ctl cell will become activated totally become activated in a um, aggressive state that he, it have to kill this target cell after the activation of CTL they will start releasing uh, perforins they start releasing perforins this perforins will reach the target cell and makes hole here as the name perforin it create pores perforin create pores in the membrane of the target cell okay after making the pores the the ctl cell the cytotoxic t lymphocyte release granzymes 
these are some specialized enzymes which cause the apoptosis as i will told you uh, later this uh, uh, first is uh, first is blue is perforans and the green one is granzymes okay so these two are released first is to break the wall make a hole and after that granzyme come and start the process of apoptosis and after that cell will die cell will die due to apoptosis that's the killing mechanism of ctr cell now come to the killing mechanism of natural killer cells what is the killing mechanism it is totally different from the cytotoxic t lymphocyte as it works on different principle this is the second soldier its working mechanism is just like that it roams around means that it uh, goes it uh, shows the chemotrexic movement means that as the police officer the cops um, patrol uh, do patrolling in the streets and roads in the cities as such these nk cells do patrolling in our blood okay they find uh, each and every cell that they have an identity card or not they have an identity card or not means that if that identity card is there with that cell then this and uh, then that that cell is uh, our own body cell they will doesn't kill it but if the identity card is not there they will kill that target cell that is it that is it is pathogen it is foreign so they will kill it so their mechanism is based on the identification if the identity card is there they will not kill if the identity card is not there they will kill so what is the identity card here the identity card is mhc molecule the mhc molecule is the identity card okay if the mhc is present without uh, i am not talking about here the antigen it present or not but if the cell contain mhc on its surface then it's it shows like identity card for the cell that is that it is own body cell but if the mhc is not present then the nk cell will kill the cell as it doesn't uh, contain identity card so uh, let's make it understand properly firstly it is a target cell target cell whatever uh, for example a bacteria comes inside it doesn't contain mhc on its surface let's for example a normal cell is there normal body cell is there it contains mhc on its surface nk cell commit to it commit to it and show uh, and sh uh, want to know that identity card uh, the cell the target cell the own body cell shows the identity card in the form of mhc the nk cell uh, doesn't kill that cell because it is own it shows its identity card but the second scenario when the cell the target cell comes from outside for example a bacteria comes inside then it doesn't shows mhc then mhc is not present on that cell mhc is not present on the cell here it is different it shows mhc with antigen but here only mhc is required okay don't relate both of them both of them are just opposite to each other okay this is another mechanism this is another mechanism it works on identification mechanism so this target bacteria i have written here this is the target cell bacteria okay this is the bacteria doesn't contain the mhc on its surface so the nk cell will come uh, near it it doesn't find this is the uh, this is the activator receptor activator receptor okay this is the activator receptor when the nk cell come in the contact with bacterial cell as it doesn't contain uh, surface markers which activate it it doesn't uh, require these type of activation mechanism means that uh, tcr bind with by tcr and cd8 will bind and then tcl become activate it it is always activated it just required an identity card if identity card is there it will not kill if the identity card is not there it will kill okay so here the mhc is not present it recognize the nk cell recognize that 
it is foreign particle it is foreign i uh, it it have to kill out it have to kill out as it is foreign so he start releasing the same thing perforins and granzymes he start releasing as such uh, at release the perforins which will make a pore in the bacterial cell wall or cell membrane and after that it will release gram enzymes which will start apoptosis and after that the bacteria cell will killed out so this is the mechanism this is another mechanism this is another mechanism it works on identification it works on activation it is always activated is it is primary inactivated and become activated when it uh, bind with uh the mhc presenting antigen okay now let's understand the apoptosis in a summary in a short form that what happens in the apoptosis that uh, gram enzyme the gram enzyme enters in the bacterial cell or the target cell what uh, in the both uh, pathway in the both the ctl and nk cell killing mechanism the same process will occur that is i am talking about the only gram enzyme and perforin pathway the fast ligand pathway you will uh, learn from the apoptosis pathway uh, another video so this is the gram enzyme which enters the bacterial cell and after entering it activates pro caspase caspase 3 pro caspase 3 will activate it and after that caspase 3 these are some specialized proteins or enzyme which will start the apoptosis so gram enzyme ent enters pro caspase 3 activated and after that caspase 3 activated ab now caspase 3 act will activate the nuclease and the protease these are two specialized and some more enzymes also these but th these are nuclease and protease are important enzyme uh, used for nuclease used for degrading of nucleic acid and protease for pro, uh, for degrading of protein okay so nuclease will uh, will fragment out the dna or the genetic material inside the bacteria and protease will degrade all the protein so after if the dna is not there if the protein is not there then what is the cell it will die off it will die of due to apoptosis so this is the killing mechanism that both of them follows it is similar in both of them but the activation is different as it is all it is non activated it is require activation it is always activated is just required in identity card in the form of mhc so i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you have any query then you can ask in the comment box down below and if you haven't subscribed this channel then subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos such like that thank you so much for watching see you soon